Okay, today on Random Acts of Carving, um, I'm Mark, if anybody hasn't been watching my channel, but uh, this is a little piece of driftwood. Um, usually do bigger pieces than this, but we're going to try to put a tiny little caricature face on this. Um, got a nose right here, we're just going to go with that. Start there, and uh, we'll see what we can do, and uh, we'll dig them out. Here we go. Alright, so like I said, we're going to uh, start this guy off. Just with his uh, that little bump that was on the stick, we're gonna make that his nose and just start carving from there. I'm using a uh, that little diamond uh, flame bit. It cuts this pretty easy. The outside of it was pretty soft, uh, maybe a thirty second of an inch deep. And, uh, so I'm just gonna kind of draw on there, get my uh, sizing right and then uh, remove that top layer kind of as I go there and uh, get down to some wood that's a little bit a little bit harder this piece was uh, pretty light wood though and it, uh, it's pretty easy to carve I think I was able to carve 90 percent of it with just the, the little diamond grit bits Still just like the other ones, just uh, kind of rough them out and uh, get all your sizing right before you go very deep and then just uh, start cutting the features in deeper and deeper. This is a uh, good little, uh, eh, maybe not first first carving, but a uh, good little fairly beginner carving. Kind of uh, just kind of follow along with this one. If you want to do, just run the video a little bit and then catch up. Just stop it and catch up a little bit and then uh, takes a little while to learn faces. Uh, I'm not the best at it. Still a lot to learn on them. But uh, I have fun with them. Just cutting around his face and then uh, adding his little chin there. Trying to leave his uh, mustache stand real proud out underneath his nose. I wanted it to be a big mustache. These uh, bits also fit in a Dremel, so if you have a Dremel, preferably a variable speed, then you can. Uh, you don't need anything expensive to do little carvings like this. You can just do them with uh, some cheap Harbor Freight bits and uh, whatever Dremel you got laying around.
you can draw it on there a little bit with a pencil, but uh, as soon as you start carving, all your lines get erased. So you can kind of use uh, just some uh, marks on there with a pencil, just get your scale right. Uh, make sure your eyes and your nose and everything are about the size you want them, but just remember that can change as you uh, carve into it. So. It's always good to have a reference photo of some sort to look at or a picture on your phone or whatever you can find something you're interested in making on a piece of wood. Try to visualize what it's going to look like on a piece of wood so you can kind of get your sizing right. Sometimes it's really hard to make face look like a picture but it'll get you can get the general shapes and just try to make it look like a face to begin with. I speeded that first little section up there. That was uh, about 28 minutes of carving. And then uh, probably about the same amount again just to finish it. I just uh, had about an hour in this one. Just, just over an hour with a little bit of paint I put on it. pick up everything that I had out just before I got them done because a uh, storm blew in so I had to move everything inside finish up my painting inside Finally adding some little hairs to his mustache here. I can probably tell who he is now.
put a uh, little collar like this underneath there. You don't have to get carried away with going down and putting buttons and a coat on. You can if you want, but uh, if you have enough stick left there. Uh, but just just adding this collar and uh, a little bit of a uh, shirt underneath really adds a lot to it. Shape, then you just cut down in and get your uh, get your lines darkened up. You can put just about anybody's face on a stick like this. As long as it has a nose, you can you can start there and just uh, fit the rest of his face on it. Sometimes I feel alone, you know it's me and my guitar Looking at the darling stars, seeing where we're supposed to go now Goofy little lady, tell me what you mean to me And I'll build a house in Byron Bay, if that's exactly where you are This uh, blue bit that I have in there right now is a uh, tapered end mill. Used them a little bit on my last few carvings. It has a real sharp point on it so you can get in and do real small details. Paintbrush wasn't small enough to do his eyes, so I uh, sharpened a toothpick. And, uh, 
He just had to put the paint on his eyes. I always like to put the uh, white paint on the eyes first. That gives it a chance to dry. Then you can start doing all the other. Start anywhere else, really. But as long as you have his eyes and uh, if he has teeth, you get his teeth. Then you can come back and put the other colors on by the time you get the, the other paint on his hair or whatever you're going to do. Then uh, his eyes are usually dry enough. You can put the other colors on. In this case, I put a little bit of watered down black on his hair and his mustache, uh, let it dry, and then I'm going to go back over it with uh, some uh, white just to. Then that dark, dark paint behind it gives it the shadow behind it. Try to keep the uh, white paint for his hair up on top of the up on top of the cuts and the black paint down inside the cuts. Having a little bit of uh, the brown on his uh, eyes there. Once again, painting his toothpick. There's where I had to move inside because it was uh, storming outside. So. A lot of the darkness from this is uh, from the water that's on the brush. As soon as you touch it with water, the wood gets darker. So you gotta wait for it to dry to see what colors it's actually gonna be. All right, well, we got this week's carving done. It's a little Einstein. Um, it's a lot of fun. I just just remind everybody, you don't have to go out and buy a big expensive piece of wood to uh, do carvings. You can just use a little piece of uh, stick or driftwood or whatever you got laying around the house and find something you looks like you can get it in there. Doesn't have to have the ears. This one don't have any ears because there wasn't room to put them. So, but just have fun carving and uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. So if you have some little pieces of wood, scrap pieces of wood work great. They're free to use 
and I'm jerking this thing all around like this here. Yes, you are. I can make them 